Oh, you shagged your missus in there, didn't you? <laughs> I've never did that. Oh God! Absolutely never. He's have. never done that. Welcome back, my brief case people. <laughs> 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 I really thought you were going to say it. Yeah, I know. But uh, right, we're back on waffling. I am fresh from Monaco. Yes, you are, brother. And you are a completely broken down, absolute fucking. <laughs> <laughs> No, you, you're broken. What's happened, Theo? What? Did you get I've, beaten up? I broke my hand. What? Yeah, I broke my hand. So what, the... punching someone? Oh, no, I ran into someone. You just literally Mate, ran into someone. Have you, you seen you the not, video? Have you not seen the video? Oi, Tom, roll the clip right now. Sorry if you're on audio, but we need to quickly see why Theo is in such bad working order. <laughs> it's actually, no, it's actually embarrassing. You know when you did your knee? Yeah. I was like, what a pussy. He's done, oh, like, really? Huh? I, I didn't realise anyone said that. Oh, oh! Well, everyone said that I was being a pussy because I actually snapped my, my knee my in half. My point, snapped your knee in half. Oh, I did. <laughs> Played on. My point. The point I'm saying. Off. The point I'm saying is, it didn't look like you'd done anything bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you say the same thing about make, me. Make sure for the audio listeners, you do also explain what happens yeah, I will, in the video. I'll talk, I'll talk for it. So, have you seen it? Right. We're gonna play it now. Three, two, one. Press play. Right, get it. Good for me. That's it. That was it. I ran into someone. So yeah, directly I Theo is just running and you know when you go like, pew, yeah. like that's that's the impact. That's but no, at the time I was like, oh, that's a bit of a high, it was actually a bit of like a oosh. It's not even, it's not high pace though. No, no one's it's sprinting. Not. It's, a, it's one of them freak accidents. It just happened to happen to me again. And how long are you out for? Like no wanking, no nothing. Like oh. you are fucked for how long? At least six weeks. I mean, a car six, six weeks. weeks. Get closer to your microphone. Sorry, or I know. I'll punch you. <laughs> it's, uh, no, bring it closer to you. Like, I'm, I'm made, okay. I'm sorry. I mean, a car's for six weeks. I got another appointment appointment next week. Yeah. And I might actually, might have to have surgery. Really? Yeah. Why? Because of the break. Like they might have to put it together. Where is actually broken? Like, on it's your like hand? Under, it's like underneath my thumb. Yeah. Oh my lord, so guys, you, let us know, right? If you're watching, if you've, you've had that. Like, hey yeah, hey yeah. Let's go. I don't what know what's the, happened. Buddy. What has happened to no, you? It's ever since I've been to Monaco. You've come back. Did I mention you? I went to Monaco? <laughs> <laughs> you've come back dressed like you've been in Monaco. Mate, I've come back Tory. I've come back like really. I just keep doing this thing where I go, Skid Cabane's, mate. <laughs> what the fuck is I was that? doing it the whole trip thinking. Is it French? Like, well, I was trying to speak French. That's definitely not French. It sounds like Italian. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it's because my, my girlfriend can speak a bit of French. <laughs> so she, she was doing it. But, anyways, get well soon, Theo. Thanks. Hope you're okay. Wait, have either of you ever been in a cast before? <laughs> <laughs> lads, lads, I'm not even joking. No, I, it's my right hand. What, so wanking is off the cards. Oh, no. You, you, your left hand feels like someone else. Look, this is Theo's livelihood. But, like, I'm not even joking. Mate, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm, I actually feel disabled. Like, I cannot do anything. My, I, my left hand does not work. Does that make oh, sense? So oh, I'm, I what about just, people that are actually disabled? You're just quite insensitive of you. Not at all. You can say you oh, feel disabled. Because my right hand, I am right hand, predominantly right handed. So I'm like completely inept with my left hand. So like I have to wipe my ass with my left hand. <laughs> right, and on that note, <laughs> wait, have you tried it? Let's talk about Monaco. Oh, wait, sorry, brother. <laughs> right, anyways. I uh, can't even work. Well, on with the show. Uh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so um, Monaco was great. He's wiping his ass. Um, Why were you there? I was there because I now am an am am an am. You've actually come, uh, up mate, I've come back with a sound. stammer. I've now got a step where I can't actually talk properly because ever since I've been like, ta not taking a piss, but sort of basically taking the piss out of you, I've now got one. Well, a bit like karma. Yeah. <laughs> karma. Yeah, just like karma. Striking you. Wait, is it is it playing in your head as well? Yeah, so I keep thinking about it. Anyways, let's move on. So I'm now an ambassador for Formula E. Well done, buddy. So is Formula sick. E is basically like Formula One, but electric, which is like the future. Everything's obviously, all the cars on the road are going to go electric and car racing will go electric. So right? to be involved yeah. at this point is huge. Am I right in saying the races have like boost 
areas. Yeah, so it has a- fan boost. I'm not a fan of that personally. I think if it's going to compete with actual Formula One, it needs to be like uh, field, right? unlimited. Yeah, 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 it needs to be the absolute best of the best, not limited by battery charge, which it currently is. The batteries need to like be indefinite. I know like that's quite <laughs> sort of impossible, but still, they currently need to be, it's impossible. Yeah, it needs to be like you can use through full throttle the yeah. whole race yeah, yeah, yeah. without needing to like slow down. Mm-hmm. And also this fan boosting, which is basically like whoever gets the most likes. And popularity. Out of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah, I thought boost. you meant like powered no, no, by no, a fan, no, like no, a boost. No, no, <laughs> gets whoever's got yeah, the, basically the most fans, like popularity contests, gets a gets a little boost throughout the race. And I'm like, look, I don't know about it's that. Awful. However, look, Formula E in terms of like the concept about it, it's carbon neutral, so it's the only yeah, like yeah. compared to like what fucking Formula Racing, Formula One racing is all about. It's uh, the opposite of that, in that that's completely detrimental to like you know the world and all that. And that's what the first thing that actually struck. With me, it's the you know the fact that I'm not a big car fan, but that being a positive change like that yeah. reflects what I actually like want to be about. So that's why I was like that that sort of makes sense for me to go ahead with. It'd be interesting to see how long Formula One actually has left. You know, because you know yeah, that's for, a legitimate thing because like diesel cars they're done by 2030. Formula yeah. One cars are hybrid now though. Are they? Yeah. Hot, that's why they. That's why they don't. Yeah. They, yeah. They've got like huge battery. Oh. Packs. Well, even so, that's like, why they don't sound very good. Overtake it, isn't it? I think in the future, yeah, it has to, right? Well, legally, I, there's, there'll be a point where petrol cars surely are illegal. Yeah, like it has to all be electric. So, yeah. Anyways, to be, it's like being involved with football, ten years into its like existence, and see where football is now. Yeah. Like, that's what this uh, Formula E will be. And like me, Josh Denzel, who you've worked with, um, and then I think two other people are like the ambassadors representing it, trying to basically get grow the sport, get people knowing about it. And I've put myself forward to be like a presenter. Cause like sick. I got to, Wait, inter- I basically got to have like some time in the Mercedes garage talking to like the drivers, like the team and it wasn't being filmed. And it was so just like, <laughs> mate, if people, if people like who had no idea about formula E were listening to this right now, it would be so useful to like, in terms of getting people invested, getting yeah, people yeah, connected yeah, yeah. with it. So, yeah, so that's what I've actually put myself forward for. So, fingers crossed that becomes a thing because that will then involve going to like Valencia, then Rome, then yeah. the tour like, yeah, like yeah, round yeah. the world, mate. It'll be like, mate, like I'll, I'll do waff- waffling in the week, fucking go to some country with my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> yeah, just, like, yeah. I mean, that's sick. And you actually, you actually sound passionate about it. Oh, mate, well. it's sick. Like, it's an overall sick experience. And, like, hopefully, yeah. Viva. Let, well, let Formula, everyone, please contact and DM. Formula E on Instagram and Twitter saying, we love Joe, get Joe to present. He's the man for the job. Please, and please. Please. And we, yeah, we can come And off. hit like on my recent Instagram. What? Oh, mate, no, it, I wasn't going to mention no, that. Mate, it, no, no, no. I po- posted my Formula E Instagram, which is part of like what I was contracted to do, like three times. Woo. And mate, the first time it got like 6K likes. Wait, really? Which is literally <laughs> like, bruv, which literally. Now, now Wella, we're, I'm not going to lie to you. What? Me and Theo were in, in the PMs to each other. DMs. Well, like yeah. private message. Mm. Because we didn't want to bring it up to you because we thought maybe it would be a sensitive topic. Oh, I know topic. exactly yeah. what's going this, on. This, like, I mean, it's your livelihood, isn't it? You upload a picture and it flops. That's like... To say the least. Shit. Yeah, but mate, all my like, you look at most of my recent Instagrams, 100k likes, 100k likes, and you see the, the, the reach and it gets like, you know, multiple hundreds of thousands. And wh- what I'm saying is when you tag a branded the worst. post... Does that instantly make it dive on on the algorithm because it ruined it? And I put a poll out saying, "Did this uh, post hit your <laughs> timeline?" Just because I wanted to fucking know. Like, like, over fifty percent of people said no. I just didn't hit. It didn't even hit the timeline. It was on my timeline. Yeah, but that's, that's the might... thing. Like, maybe it was just like my close friends. But in terms of actually getting out there, like. I, was, I don't want to put hashtag ad. I don't want to put branded sponsor or whatever because it just fucks it. Just put ad without the hashtag. Wait, no, but are you allowed to do this as a little like decoy? Could you put like hashtag ad on the actual picture? Yeah. And then not have to what, actually... tag hashtag ad? No, no. So edit the picture yeah. so like it actually says hashtag ad like in the corner... Down in like the right hand oh, side. I could do, yeah. I mean, anything. And to then just you stop, don't stop it because uh, fundamentally, I mean, you can say what you want, are oh, irrelevant, weller or whatever. But fundamentally, all my Instagrams, like this one I'm going to post today, right? Of this me in the wedding dress, that's yeah. going to bang. Obviously, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, also, I <laughs> definitely like, I saw the picture and because you, you uploaded like multiple pictures within 
like so you could slide. Yeah. The second picture you should have gone with that. No, no, no. Because if you're just scrolling past it, you can't see a face. It's a silhouette. It's a bit dark. If you, it's not clear. Nah, the thing it was that a I think Donny picture. Yeah, it was a Donny picture. Okay, maybe you're right, but the, the also the thing that I think fucked it is the fact in that first one I had to wear a mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can't even see my face. So you can't see it's me yeah, at yeah. first glance. And also, so it was just like also fuck people disagree. Like some people disagree with masks, so like they oh. wouldn't. I know. They wouldn't double tap the on that. The main thing that like, fucked it as well is you uploaded it three times. Oh, mate, yeah. Which yeah, was I the, knew, the first I knew, time wait, wait, was six times. Six K. You were at home, like... <laughs> yeah, well, I was just like, it's not a yeah. fair reflection of my reach, mate. I have a much bigger reach than that, and I want Formula E to know that. I want... Because I want I want this con the, like this ambassadorship to continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst that, thing is... Because my stories, post, my stories yeah. banged as normal, did even better than normal. Yeah. Because obviously people were sharing it. I don't know, because, I don't know, Monaco looked cool. But... Hey, yeah, all our stories are banging this week. Yeah, 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 innit? It seems they've gone up for some reason. Oh, I don't the, know. Mate, the worst thing is when you do a, a, a post for a brand and it just does shit because it is an embarrassment. Well, yeah, because you want to show what you're capable of. The other thing is that brands often will make you put like, oh, I had a great time using me, yeah, me, yeah, me, yeah. some really like bullshit monologue with then like hashtag this, hashtag that, hashtag And it's so blatantly you're just getting paid to post this that it just doesn't connect with people yeah. what i tried to like emphasize to every brand is just bruv like like when i posted about our tango ice blast fruity don flavor i just posted just had a tango ice blast machine installed laughing face whatever Loved that was it, it. Yeah. and that fucking banged because it was so just like what the fuck natural whereas imagine if they just made me put all the hashtag icy <laughs> hashtag all their little branded because the people that are in those marketing agencies bruv they they, they don't actually Get they it. don't get it. They don't they get don't, it. They, don't, they, they don't, don't. They don't. They don't. You have to have full creative control. Yeah, in it, and that's what from now I'm like absolutely putting my foot down. Well, with. you saw my you saw my design one. That was oh, quite mate, sick. I, I that was, was actually sick. So it did how, well as well. How did I not get that? Well, obviously you're not as like into boxing as I am. Probably don't. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, I am literally. <laughs> I'm a lifelong fan. No, but that's what I don't get. Like why? Like, I'm Mr. YouTube when it comes to boxing. <laughs> Mr. YouTube. <laughs> Chip on the shoulder. No, I have a chip on my shoulder. Don't Shoot, I? Mongols. We've, been, we've been speaking about this before kickoff. Or <sighs> kickoff. Yeah. But my 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 everything on my Insta has been banging recently. Fair play though to get like you you, it's quite it, right. you smashed it. It like, was well alright to be fair that yeah. design one. And it was me. I'm not even joking. How much you get? It was sick. How much you get? I genuinely can't remember. Was well, so you didn't get paid? I got obviously got paid. Come on. How much? <laughs> I don't know. What what sort of rough? What is the first number? <laughs> Come on, Mel. On an actual human level with you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I cannot remember. All right, it. so ballpark figure. Oh. Oh, how much you get for Formula E? Uh, <laughs> there's a two involved. How many zeros? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the zeros, bro. But the the own thing, mate. There was one ninety nine for the just all boxing. Yeah, it's quality. It's then actually, they'll, they'll, Surely put that price up soon, though. Is that where Logan Mayweather's going to be? No. They've no, made their own platform. Yeah, so they get 100% of the revenue. Like Fuck 80, quid, 80 quid a pay for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're charging like 80 quid. Their business model is sick because the earlier you buy it, the cheaper it is. Yeah. And obviously later, the hype goes up close. And like, oh, I didn't get my ticket. All yeah. about Jake Paul bollocks, though, oh, kicking off. Oh, mate, everyone head. was like, oh, mate, it's hilarious. I thought it was quality. Mate. I, and I, as in, as in, I, like, he's a dickhead. And, and we all know that, whatever, whatever. But I just laughed at that because Mayweather thought he could just come into the YouTube world and just get his money and this, that, and the other. And Jake Paul has just, like, essentially tried to <laughs> absolutely dis... dis uh, Degrade him essentially, oh, mate, like yeah. make him look is, like, is that, like pussy. He's brought him he's, down to his level. Mayweather Ooh. has been so disrespected in that instant; it is yeah. outrageous. He is yeah. arguably the best boxer of all time. Well, arguably. yeah, 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 Do you yeah. Know what yeah. I'm yeah. Pound for and for sure. Jake Paul has just got your head. Yeah, yeah, him made off. it a, ki a kid's game, and I think that's that's what, in a way, because like I'm seeing what Mayweather's clearly just gone. Oh yeah, this is a money making scheme. Yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah. Get involved. Like, yeah, I thought it was jokes that he's actually like got. Triggered and angered by so it. So angry. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. You... Also, I fucking I hate to compliment Jake. Do you keep seeing a flash up there? No. You don't? I don't chime. No, 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 no. no. Up, okay, okay. Okay, it must just be the corner of my eye because like, I swear I just do, it mate. It might be reflection like oh, here as you move. I Maybe I'm in a room surrounded by bright white yeah. lights. No, oh, I don't know, mate. I don't know. No, but yeah, on a level, I hate to give Jake a compliment, but the well, size, yeah. size of his balls to actually do that, knowing that Mayweather's got his fucking team around him, and then not only has he been like clarted in the <laughs> face a few smashed. times, he's then like been dragged away and he's still shouting it as Mayweather's coming after him, like, 
shit I think that, I think that takes balls. Yeah, it's absolute like he, Mate. the character that he is, he plays that character. He's, it's like Randy Orton yeah, playing yeah, yeah. the heel, playing the villain. Jake Paul plays Jake Paul very well, and it's at this point it's just getting like fucking ridiculous. Mate, it's, it's so strange. He, he would have sold. He's probably done more for that fight than Logan and Mayweather. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, like, yeah, Logan yeah. You know what I mean? can't sell it as well as Jake can. Jake is is the one that, like, well, people want to watch because they want to see him get his head fucking caved, caved in, in. And because he, he's unpredictable as fuck, whereas Logan's a bit more placid. Do you not think, though? I feel like placid. Ta- uh, what? No one said anything about his dick. <laughs> Anyways, um, do, you not th- <laughs> do you not feel like the times are slightly changing? Like, that Jake Paul stuff was actually quite funny. Which one? What that? Just the gadget head. And then the clip in uh, Logan's video. Have you seen the clip? Were no, you, no, you no. Not? Are you meaning to say that you're starting no, to no, like you're Jake, Jake Paul? Paul fan. Absolutely not. He's a fucking bellender. We all no, know. No, 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 no. You no, said no, it. But, wait, look, look, look. This is my point. Is, this is my point. Is. This is why I come out and say, look, mate, it's jokes. True, do- True Geordie comes funny. out and says the same thing. Look, Jake Paul's, he's doing certain things that are jokes. But, and like, it's not, I know it's like, you're socially accepted to hate on Jake Paul. Like, if, you're no. not, if you're not hating on him, then you're a cunt. But it's just like, but look, at the end of the I'm day, it's jokes. There's nothing, he is a massive bellend, but it is quite funny what he did recently. Mm. Um, okay, Tom, roll this clip that Theo's about to say. Yeah. Uh, play, three, two, one, go. Yeah, no. You okay, bro? Yeah, I'm good at it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you mean what happened, bro? You just got yourself banned from the event. Gotcha, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Went viral on Twitter that because it was quite, quite banterous. Oh, it's so pointless. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> but I did. Uh, the second, the second that that went over, like the 10 second mark, I was thinking this is going yeah, down terribly. Sure, make sure you cut that down a bit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I get it. And that's now we see. He even got it tattooed to himself, like whatever. But like, look, if he wins against. Oh, geez, Jake got a fight against no. He hasn't, he got, hasn't fight got a fight. Mate, fuck this Mayweather Logan. Get yeah. Mayweather Jake. Yeah, that's the <laughs> real fight. Is, is, that, is, is that a dead thing. fight now? Oh, like, has Jake yeah. like dead oh, in yeah, that fight? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what the real fight is. What it'll be is Mayweather will beat Logan, and then it'll be Jake versus. Can you imagine Mayweather as the bit, and then Jake wins? No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't imagine that. Be like, oh, he will. Do you reckon? No, he's not, he's not going to beat Mayweather, bro. If like, he does win, can we send in someone like AJ? Who's just obviously like ten times the size? <laughs> oh no, but someone's gonna have to. Boy, I dreamt I was fighting AJ last night, but and I went out for a jog on the day before, and I saw him out. So I decided to stop at a champagne bar and drink loads of champagne. It must have been a little premonition or, or throwback to the Formula E thing because I was drinking lots of champagne. Cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that where it ends? Wait, you went to Monaco. <laughs> Fuck yourself. Wait, can I read a, a little question that we've been sent in by a Buxton Army member? Just don't fucking oh. do <laughs> I mean, a Waffling Mafia member, aka a Fruity Don. Oh, I had it a minute ago. Where's it gone? Oh, yeah. Right, the tagline is Joe the Pussy. Right, here we fucking go. <laughs> uh, Pre COVID, my dad was the manager of a skydiving company. Only recently, my dad has told me that Joe visited one time. I was watching Waffling. And he came in my room and said he recognised a bloke on the right. He once went for a skydive, but was such a pussy, he didn't jump. <laughs> Grow a pair. Also, Luke has sexy feet. First of all, <laughs> mate, I've never been for a skydive. <laughs> <laughs> mate, no, I've never been well, for we, a skydive. We know you've never been. He didn't jump. No, mate, <laughs> I've never even gone to a skydive, ever. <laughs> Who's he on about? No, mate? I don't know. I was just like, what the fuck? Why are you getting so triggered by this email then? No, I thought it'd be funny because it's like, oh, I've not even been to Yeah, one. but do you ever, have you ever... Oh, mm-hmm. bit, which I maybe shouldn't have been really... No, 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 no. That's, have, you, have you ever, like, been mistaken for someone, like... Jamie because, Vardy! Or no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't mean like that. I mean, like, in the sense where, like, people maybe think they've met you, not like that, but as in, like, they've you've been sent, like, a legit message, like, it was good to meet you earlier, yeah. mate. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, I've had pe- uh, photos from a distance, like, oh, saw Joe Weller in town. It's just not you. Not me. <laughs> it's just some random ginger guy. I'm not ginger, am I? Am I? Let me know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, have you ever been recognised? Because we, all our oh, lookalikes wait. get... Shit, he has! I got recognised for the first time on campus What today. did they do? Like, Famous. suck your cock? Famous. Uh, no, he didn't. No, he, uh, he was just polite, nice guy. Just asked. I remember those he days. Was, I, I, he said he was actually, like, listening to the pod. That's always well, weird. Well, as he, as he yeah, saw you. Yeah, weird when that happens. Oh my God, now that is a, a really crazy thing, actually. No, no, no I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm just... I'm just adding to the comment. <laughs> no, continue. 
But like, do you? <laughs> I, I still find it weird when because he said my name at first and I still there's <laughs> yeah. there's still such a big part of me that is like I don't want to be like waffling and then he's just like what are you on about like I'm making uh, well, you know I mean? a well maths class yeah like I, it does it seem arrogant if you automatically assume that they know you from oh no it's just jumping to the point like oh I've done that many times so it's like oh do you want a photo and he thought oh no I thought you were selling gear. <laughs> No, I was, we, we I had was, that, yeah, I, I was, um, oh, outside. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, do you remember? Yeah. We, we, us waffling boys went to Cornwall and I was wearing a North Face coat outside the hotel. It's <laughs> like, ah, oh, can I, wait, can, someone came over. They like, acted oh, like they Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were just like, what? So awkward. I was just like, yeah, you just, you want a photo, right? Like, Come on. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> me and Luke were just like, Ooh. yeah, I just thought I was selling drugs. I wasn't. Um, no. I don't know if you boys saw. Go on, mate. I died this week. Oh, oh, you yeah. did. His, I legitimately uh, died. His Instagram got changed to remembering Theo Baker as Mate. though he was a dead man. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> oh, wait, I got was back. It funny? <laughs> well, let me just quickly restart that camera. One sec. Go. Everyone just found it hilarious that I was dead. It just said remembering Theo Baker. Mate, I, was, I was hacked. I was yes. locked out by Insta. Oh. Yeah, but 24 hours. They weren't laughing at you being dead. Mate, I legitimately had to send to like the Instagram guy who was fixing it. He was like, yeah, I need you to send me a photo of you, like, to prove that you are alive. No fucking right. way. <laughs> but wait, how, Texting him. how did it, how did you get Vera died? I like that. Did you see my tweet? Vera died. <laughs> like, how did it get factually proven that you were indeed dead? Yeah, like, so why, you, like, like, you had to send a photo of yourself to prove you were alive, yeah, but how did they prove you were dead? Yeah. Oh, it's like, fuck knows. Who knows? Someone just Because surely it has to take more than one person to report me as dead. Well, surely it would take like a death certificate. Yeah, I think you actually have to provide a death certificate. Were you, so. were you worried that your account was... Oh, I thought dead. I'd lost my account forever. What would you have done? Oh, like, awful. That's, a, that's an income, that is. Yeah, yeah that gone is forever. Yeah. Anyways, what was this thing that you were going to get out? Oh, no, I thought you were something else. That was it. Oh, that was it. Oh, fuck. What's that photo you've got there then? Huh? No, go on. What is it? No, it's just, Don't obviously, dick. this camera that I'm pointing at right yeah, now. Yeah, hello. Uh, the wide angle was elevated. Yeah, ask it. Because well, you I still look fat. Is because. It guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good picture, is it? Look, we changed the camera angle so Joe looks less fat. Because he's not. You're not actually it, fat. You're, you're not, not fat, but for some reason, this ang- this camera. What is a baggy shirt? <laughs> <laughs> The okay. camera has to go, blood. The, ca- the camera's <laughs> got to go, brother. But I'm still offside. Bro. Boys, let's, let's fucking put uh, one of those cameras up there like, rather than this wide-angle bollocks. I mean, you might look good in what you're wearing today. Well, of course, mate. I'm fit. Victoria. Actually, wait. I want to talk about... Obviously, the, over the whole series, there's been a lot of talk about you gaining weight, being fat. Still any one of your fucking... <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but we got an email from... Someone earlier, which do you oh, have it? Oh, fine, yes. I, okay. I think it's a good a good discussion. Right, okay, let us know what you think about this, right, and then we'll get on to some joke stuff. I mean, this could be jokes. Let us know what you think. Um, Joe, looking fat, thanks for making us feel shit. Very long story, but uh, I'll... Uh, uh, oh, story. Oh, 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 story. <laughs> That's a good story, bro. Um, <laughs> When Joe says he has a belly and comments things like, I look terrible, it's horrendous, that's fucking disgusting. It makes people like me who have a belly and struggle with it feel even shitter. Now, uh, now what I then? I am boys, <laughs> go on, what? Look, what? I don't want to... Fuck off, I just saw it again, bruv. Oh, no, I just saw a fucking you're something. You're seeing shit. Am I? You have too you're much going, shampoo. You're going am crazy. I going mental, <laughs> I mean, brother? You're going mental. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, maybe I am. I, don't want to disrespect this guy because he's clearly a waffler. Yeah. Yeah. And we appreciate him. We love but him through and through. I think he's making it a bit about himself here. Whoa. Right? Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Well, please hit the like rating button right now. <laughs> we love you guys. To save the pod. And l- please hit the like rating. Luke's opinions don't, you know, they what don't do you mean? matter. No, no. Well no. I'm going to back this up if you give me a second. Yeah. Let's right. hear it. Everyone views themselves in a different way, right? Okay. Us. Well, we don't even call you fat, but people calling you, you fat. You call we... me fucking fat, boys. No, we talk. You do. Over and over again. It's got to me. Where? Why do you think I'm now wearing Proof. a little jumper? I can't <laughs> wear a vest anymore. I'm embarrassed. What, because of and what are you? And now, and now this geezer, look what we've created. Look what you've created. No, incorrect. Oh, right, this, what this is. I've got a hair transplant after all my bullying. Is This is, per- <laughs> <laughs> this is perception. This yeah. is how you're perceiving yourself. You're seeing yourself as 
not how you should look. So you're not saying that, oh my God, like I'm a... No, I look fantastic. It's that <laughs> fucking camera angle. It's that no, piece of shit, mate. But you, you have, you the have camera angle and it looks the same. <laughs> you have also acknowledged to yourself that, and by no means am I saying you're fat, but you've said yourself that you're not in the shape that you once were. Still in better shape than me and you. Yeah, yeah, and you are in, and this is what this guy's saying, you're in better shape than a lot of people actually are. But when you're talking about it, you are referring purely to yourself, as in compared to how I want to look. Yeah. To me, I can say, I feel like, oh, that's awful, that's terrible, I don't want to look that, because that's how, I, like, in terms of like the standard of which I want to view my uh, be like present myself yeah. it is that's not saying that's what you are if you if that's what your perception is of yourself then well then that's your problem this is my problem so it's so like there's to say that you're not allowed to make comments about yourselves in that manner nah we're allowed to talk about ourselves however we want it's a free and open discussion yeah right so take it as you as you please we, we mean no disrespect it's all relative, uh, despite that um anyways moving on to the next thing uh i just want to quickly say you're all a bunch of pussies that was honestly the worst. I know. Thing. I was trying. <laughs> so just, pointless. I know. I just want to say, uh, move on to one of your questions. Okay, so or we one... got we got an Instagram DM from mm. a girl. Okay. Okay. Mm. Go on, what it, buddy? <laughs> Going hardcore on that tango. So I'm a twenty. <laughs> I'm a twenty three year old girl. I own a house, and I'm a uni student. <clears throat> but like going out with my friends. <sighs> But I'm a mum. <laughs> but Whoa! I'm a mum. I have a young son. I'm single and I feel like dating is hard as a lone parent. Yeah. I feel like guys are too scared to get to know someone with a kid. Ooh. What do you guys think of this? Love to hear a guy's perspective. I'm not looking for a baby dabby. But I <laughs> a baby daddy. Dabby. <laughs> I say baby, baby dabby. Uh, but I deserve no to be... No fucking way. I've just seen something there, boys. Oh, shut no, up. No, no, Give fucking... Give it a fucking No, I'm not, no you, I wish I was... Bro, I just saw a little whatever. Mate, you know what you've probably seen? When you close your eyes sometimes, there's these little, like, white... No, mate, really no, things. no. I'm not a dickhead. I'm not a dickhead. I'm You're just crazy. You. Right. <laughs> but but I deserve to be happy too. Yeah. That's it. What do you well, With this, right? If, if you... Oh, I mean, it's difficult because we've all got girlfriends now. But oh, no, but we can talk about. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if you were to meet someone and they had a young child, it's like, oh, would run you all... be put off by that? Yeah. But what happens if they're like they are the nicest? I don't want you... kids at all, mate. I don't want kids at all. Yeah, what? So I, you I don't want actively, your own. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actively at that point in this moment in time. I mean, inevitably, probably at some point in the future, I will. It's not unnatural at 25 to feel like you don't want them. But yeah, actively right now, I don't want my own. So therefore. I don't want to enter someone else's relationship where there is already a pre-existing child. That's just that circumstantial reasons, personal preference. But for other people, they may be willing and open to that. Maybe yourself, for it's example. It's probably hard for her as well, being a uni student and being a mum. The, the types of blokes she's probably meeting at uni are not exactly the ones looking to settle down. Yeah, so that, it, there, is a, there is a large amount of folk out there that would happily take on the responsibility of someone else's child. Yeah, we know a couple. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Are we allowed to say his name? Oh, are we allowed to say his name? Oh, please. Oh, no, we've it. said it now. No, I mean, everyone loves In terms of this lady's problem, she... Don't worry about these blokes. Like, if, if you're looking for a good night, do it. But if you're looking for someone who's going to be long-term, you're probably not going to find them at uni, realistically. Exactly. The game is the game. Now, something that happened on the way back from Monaco. Oh, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> right, show this photo right now. It is a packed-out Heathrow Border force now, border, the UK border passport control uh, area. There's got to be thousands upon thousands of people packed into so this busy, thing. By the way. Mate, it was just like multiple flights all at once. They had the line for the red list. Con oh, it must be cars going past it and reflected on there. It must be. Anyways, I've seen it again. I've seen it fucking again, mate. That's weird. Right. Um, yeah, there, there's the red list countries, the countries that is like you're not allowed to fucking go to or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That line is right next to the green countries. So we're all oh. just in one big fuck off room. Just, <laughs> just like fucking breathing everywhere. I would have thought the red list countries have their own like, um, like a different entrance maybe. No. Try, like, try and keep no, them no, very no, separate. One queue, one queue. Basically what I'm saying is like, that is, I tweeted out saying, uh, so, so clubs and football stadiums aren't allowed to be open, but this is Heathrow right now. Um, and so people were like, um, and you're part of the problem. People. Why are you complaining? I was like, bruv, I'm not complaining. I'm mm -hmm. saying, I'm saying open all of it. 
Have a throw like that, and also have football stadiums and clubs open. Have it all open. Football stadiums are outside as yeah, well. Yeah, pe- people misunderstood what you're saying. I did. I know. See I, I just was. I wasn't saying oh they shouldn't be like that. I mean, really, because you're there. I'm fucking there. Yeah. Well, I'm not complaining about. It. I'm just saying, isn't it? Isn't it ironic yeah. how a football stadium that is outside yeah. isn't allowed to be open, but that a very enclosed fucking place with people from all over the country? Yes, granted. All the people, in order to get onto these flights, would have had to have done a PCR COVID test. However, right, with all, all the different certificates that you can, like, all the different companies offering these COVID PCR tests, mate, it is so easy to forge a certificate. Really? Bruv, there's no, like, barcode or special, like, whatever. It's an A4 bit of paper saying, essentially, you don't have, a, you know, negative test. And then the company's logo in the top corner. You have I to... could put that together in two minutes. Not that I, not that I did. <laughs> but, like, you, you know, you so easily could. And the people looking at the certificate, there's just some random people. They're just looking at They've got so many people coming that they don't even, you know. I sent a... You had to show that you've got a, a COVID test booked for white when you're back as well. And all I did is show a print screen of an email. Right, and he was like, "Oh yeah, that's calm." So print screen of my yeah, email. Could that could have been a print screen of any email. You know what I mean? It's like it's not a hundred percent like concrete. Like, do you know what I mean? It's very but easy to get through. Everyone in that room would have to isolate for ten days, right? Five if you do. A, days. So that's why test. we're filming on Saturday. Yeah. Yes. After the period of time. Correct. So, yeah, but after a football match, you don't have to isolate. That's my point. Yeah, but people at the football match haven't done tests. Yeah, it's like, true. That's the thing. You've got to it's do true. PCR test. Not not the lateral flow one, which is the one you can do by yourself. PCR test is one that you have to do with a medic. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like the most official one and the most accurate and one. And I think also you have to be careful, right? You can take these tests and you could walk down the fucking, the little thing that takes you onto the aeroplane, touch the rails, and like that might not have been sanitised from someone that has yeah, COVID yeah, yeah, that yeah, has I mean, touched yeah. it. And then now, well, the, the test was effectively pointless and now everyone's f- infected. You're going into that packed room. More people are getting infected. Do you know what I mean? It's Yeah, mate, basically it's, it's just either... Everything uh, started to open up. Everything again, just needs is, to be open. Come on, boys. Well, they're doing those tests Nightclub things, aren't they? Well, they did that one in Liverpool. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, assuming it went well, on the 21st, things are all going to reopen. Obviously, we've got a Weller and Crawford boat party planned. In Doing London. a boat, pl- pl- <laughs> boat party along the London River Thames. Boat and we're coming. And you are coming. Do you want to come? Yeah. There's only going to be like 200 spaces. So like, yeah. if you want to come, fucking hit the like rating button right Wait, now. Wait, can, can people buy? Not yet. But they will be able to buy tickets. They will be able to. We'll let you know. You waffling people will be the first people to know because I'll probably launch it on here. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So if you are if you are up for it, stay tuned. So make sure you subscribe with notifications yeah, turned on. Yeah, please subscribe. We want to get to a million freaking subscribers before the end of the year. How realistic is that? Very realistic. And are you subscribed right now? Hurry up. Listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Mainly Spotify. Yeah, all, also yeah, all of that. Spotify pay there. Now, well, uh, go on. Oh, fucking hell, here we go. Now, lads. Oh. Obviously, we've got a talented man sitting across from us. You can talk to sheep. Me? Yeah, you can talk to sheep. Oh, remember? yeah, I can talk to sheep. Well, guess what, buddy? <laughs> oh, you didn't try it. Did you go and try it? You tried it yourself. Not sheep. What? I could talk to cats. Roll the clip. Fucking <laughs> 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 too right. Oh, turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang about. So let me get it straight. He thinks he's a fucking god over it. Look at me, I can talk to sheep. His was shit as well. <laughs> that was amazing. No, that was good. That was good. Was talking to a cat. Meow, 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 oh, you speak, meow, oh, you speak meow. sheep. I'll, keep, I'll speak cat. Keep, keep, keep. No, no, yeah, but basically, I used to speak to kitty. Um, but I used to say, like, like you know, like how the, the words of... Get red kitty. Now, kitty, take a seat. Right? Kitty meow. The, what, no, I'd actually. That's that song is just comprised of, of, of the phrases I would speak to her with, and she'd respond to me like that. So I'd be like, "Kitty, what are you doing?" And then she'd be like, "Meow." <laughs> and then I'd just go, "Kitty, you need to enjoy your life, kitty." Meow. Yeah, and then she'd respond. And that's when he came up with this really good song. And that's when really I was like, "Mate, the song is banging. The song is quality. <laughs> fucking kitty. That's what I really Best thing I've crazy. ever done." <laughs> now you can say crazy, but end of the day, who changed the game? He's fucking pioneer of YouTube. T-shirts He's the reason that well. you've got a job right now. T-shirts went down well. 
<laughs> one of the best <laughs> financial decisions you've made. You do get disrespected quite a lot now. I get disrespected on this podcast, right? Why? Because I, I've actually developed the ability to back myself, right? That's all this is, okay? You can, and, and we've had people actually email in saying, oh, Joe has actually helped me. Like, I had moments of doubt and worry, but I remembered, like, the game's a fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> and at Weller, well, you, you imagine what Weller would say to him, and he knows that Weller would have gone, fucking go for it, son. You are the boy, and you can do this. Don't listen to these mugs. Don't listen to any of them. The you know, yeah, the game is the game. <laughs> but in, in Monaco, beep, 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 beep. Um, <laughs> I was on the track, and fucking someone came up to us and was just went, wait, Weller, game's a game. Really? And I was like, fuck off, you love it. I was like, fuck off. <laughs> no, seriously, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. He was like, oh. And then he took a photo of me and my girlfriend and then sent it to me. Oh, wait. So he so, so, so snapped it. What if that goes public? And then it goes public. Yeah, I mean, it's the game at the end of the day. But you do want it. You want the game. I'm not actively going, oh, everyone, everyone open, here's my private life, everyone come and view. But I'm also not going to be like, fucking keep a regimented prison like. Attitude. Yeah, thing on it, like, because, you know, life's life, and it's that's too all-consuming. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, all I'm going to say is, you know. Again. I haven't said that in a while. You Good. know. Bring it back. Bring it back. No. What's your boys? You know. Game, um, game is the game merch. Game is the game. Oi, we should actually bring that that out. Oi, I've actually said this, right? Obviously, we've got the the little, like, vest things that we we are, they're all being produced at the moment. Yeah, show them now, Tom. Really? Yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. The waffling basketball really? jerseys, the fruity don yeah, was, mafia uniform. I'm dealing with the manufacturer. I, I never knew that. Yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all going through, buddy. But we have also talked about releasing maybe some more because these are going to be limited items. There's going to be like a thousand to drop, isn't there? Oh yeah, something like that. So, so if we did release like generic merch, which was always available, that would still be cool. It's not just like slapping the baguette on the t-shirt or something. Oh yeah, get oi, Tom, get that up. Theo's, <laughs> Theo's first ever merchandise, which is a fucking t-shirt with a picture of a baguette on. Lads, it went down. It went down. How many did you sell? Oh, no, no, no. no, didn't you sell like three? I sold more than your fucking U2 shirt. U2? U2? What what you are you U2s. Oh. Figurines. Figurines, yeah. How many garden shirts did you sell? Your brand new football what, team. Baguette, I sold six. Nah, talk about the garden six. shirts, mate. I think we sold like 20, 25. Is that more than U2s? Or... Wait, no, we sold like hundreds of the U2s figures. Oh. But they had thousands. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I uh, no, I fucking don't agree with but that. But would you be interested in some cool, generic, always available? Wait, imagine a cap. Merch. The game is the game. Boom. And the game on the front, and then the blank says is the game. The game is the game. Oh, I don't know about that. But there's definitely something in you know the game's the game. Because the game is the game, and I think that's a great thing to live by. And it's one right when all when it all comes yeah, to like, oh, should it. I? Shouldn't I? Oh no, it's all going wrong. It's that the game. The game is the game. Really represents <laughs> that that statement of adaptation, right? When no matter what we continue, we move, we go with whatever's going on, and we fucking make it happen. Still, we don't bow down to failure, worry, moments of doubt. We move forward because we are the waffling boys, and we are the fruitiest dons you will ever fucking meet. Slap that well, look, boys, fucking... on the topic of inspiration, I was thinking this oh. week, I don't know what sparked the thought, but do either of you have a defining moment in your life that you think has led you to this point? Yeah, wanking in Theo's spare room. Right. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, that was going to be so nice. No, oh, mate, that made I'm you want to be a YouTuber, oh, did it? I was doing so much. Nah, did you want your parents... <laughs> I used to do it so much, mate. Anyway, sorry, carry on. I know. Sorry, what were you saying? Do you have... <laughs> Just thinking Feels about... sick. <laughs> thinking about wanking in my house. Well, yeah, really, I already put my hand in your cum today. That what? happened Just earlier. on the sofa. There was a wet patch. No, I cleaned it up with... Co- you know, Dr. Beckman. You have it. I know you <laughs> fucking have it. Right, that fucking carpet clean it. Just get that on the sofa. And, Luke, bit, and I put my hand in it. And then Luke put his hand in my face and I whacked my head on the wall. Right. Anyway. Anyways, right, what you said about your <laughs> right. inspirational God, stories. Do you, a crippled man. Do you... Well, you're not allowed to say that. Um, you can't say that, bro. I'm live on Insta. Right, just go. All just right, go. sorry. Do you have... Is there a defining moment or event that has happened in your life that you feel has put you on the path to where you are today? Because I know... And, but I want to hear yours first, if you have one. I definitely, definitely have one defining moment. Go on then, go on. You start it off then. You inspire us. Go on. 
wasn't expecting that. Yeah, go on. But mine is the night I got arrested. Arrested for doing Whoa. what? Wait, what did you get arrested Whoa. for, Luke? Rewind. Look, you think he's nice and softly spoken. He, the gentle one. Yeah, he's a danger man. He does <laughs> get about. I have done time. I do tell people that as well. Like, well, you've done the time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you've been to prison. Spent a night in the cell. I've done time. Yeah, I did 12 hours. How long have you done? Oh, well, never. I'm, yeah, I'm not a bad boy. I'm a good boy. What did no, you get nicked for? What did you get nicked for? Doing so, bag in the wait, toilet? Can I, guess, sure. can I guess? You were like cocky to a policeman. Classic wanker. All right. Tried I'll to talk, grab I'll his talk. knob. I was, I'd, I was very drunk. I was 21, 20, 20 at the time. Yeah. And I was in Weatherspoons in Eastbourne, which I'm still permanently banned from. Yeah. Like I get thrown out every time I, I go that in place there. very well. Um, oh, you shagged your missus in there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I never did that. Oh, God. Absolutely never. He's happened. never done that. No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now you're banned with me. I feel like that's going to be the opening <laughs> bit that Tom uses as well at the beginning of the podcast. No, I'm, I, think, I think I'm banned from shoes. What, you shagged there as well? No, I wore a hood in a club. Oh, man. noshed off the bounce of Biana Dex. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. What's it? You just went. <laughs> no, I've actually lost my head. Oh, see more flesh and shit. <laughs> All right. <Bang. laughs> Joe loses his fucking mind. Yes. Go on, Luke. Go ahead, yeah, Luke, fucking hurry so, up. Go oh, you were talking about knocking oh, BJs off or something. Oh, hurry up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get to the point. I uh, it was engaged in an argument with some woman in uh, Weatherspoons. I don't know why. She came and said something. Spit it out. What is this going no, on? No. So then the manager came over and yeah. he tried to kick us out. Right. But we had just bought drinks. So I was like, mate, if you're going to kick us out, you should have kicked us out before. Like, mm. you've just allowed us to buy drinks. <laughs> so then eventually security got involved. In the wrong. No, no, no. I wasn't. Mate, if you're going to kick me out, let me take my drink. That's not what I said. I said, like, can we, we'll finish our drinks and then we'll That's go. That's how it works, mate. We you buy yourself a drink, then two seconds later, punch someone in the face. And then I didn't punch like, anyone. You, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Okay, so at the end of the day, why did getting arrested change yeah. your career? All right, because obviously I spent 12 hours in the cell. Yeah. There's a lot of time to think there. Oh, and fuck. Sleep. You wanked, didn't you? <laughs> No, there's cameras fucking everywhere. I didn't, oh, even, I didn't, even, I didn't even. I didn't even piss because right, the toilet was in the corner and the camera was up there, and they would have just they just see my nod. See a tiny oh, cock. Shit. Are you in the cell by yourself? Are yes. you sharing well, with someone? You, no, you I you realise like, I do. I never want to be here. Yeah, so I was at the time. I was obviously I was working at the golf club behind the bar, which is like no, that's no. not what I wanted to do. It like I had zero direction in my mm. life, and I, I like I was thinking like, what the actual fuck am I doing? Like obviously got released, <laughs> got picked up by Reese in the morning, taken home to my parents. They were just like, where the fuck have you been? Obviously, I had to tell them. Mm. And um, made me cry. Oh, you cried. Uh, whoa, well, I whoa. think maybe sometimes getting to those rock bottom moments are actually, you need that to have that thought and almost that epiphany of like, fuck, I need to make a change here. And I'm going to be fucking deadly serious here, right? My moment yeah. that has just spring to my mind is when I was doing work experience, at my dad's uh, vehicle rental company. Yes, the one that I've told you many a times that I would s I would go in the vans, be cleaning them, get distracted by seeing individuals and then start wanking. I would start. <laughs> and I wouldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was dodgy, but I remember, yeah, it was that sort of point. That I was like, I don't want to be this guy. I don't want to be wanking in vans forever. No, but it's true. Like, I was, I was getting paid like £25 um, and I was putting in so much graft and getting so sticky. No, but <laughs> from so let me get this straight. Luke's opened up. He's like, he's just admitted to crying on camera. And you've gone, yeah, mum was when I was wanking in a van. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I was just in these vans every day. And it was just like the fumes from the chemicals I had to use to clean them. And I was just like, I don't want to do this. I, I feel like I've got a lot creatively to give to this world and I feel like that's what I want to fulfill I feel like this isn't my purpose how old uh, that I was 17 just about to start college 16 I think 16 17 I was about to start college and it was then that I was really like you know I'm gonna go f go for this YouTube thing I'm really gonna uh, you know I, I can do it I can change the game I've got it in my locker and what did I do fucking change the game <laughs> change the game wait so did you apply to uni after you got hit rock bottom well, yeah, because I was like, I was like, right, like, think about it. What can you actually do? What asset did I have that when applying for a job, they'd be like, yeah, he stands out. And it was fucking nothing. Like, like, realistically, like, I fucked college because I went there just, 
And like all you did at college was bunk and go to Costa for the whole day. Bun. I never saw you bunk. Yeah, you but no, you said bun. You used to bun. No bunk. Did you ever bun? Bun no. ganja. No, not like like I was never like a. Do now no, you are a big spliffhead. No, yeah, you are. Don't you smash you said the ganja? To me you said to me last <laughs> week. Right. You said to me last week, "Oi, Reese, come round for the big smoke." Yeah, you like your. You, are you called Mister Big Smoke <laughs> <laughs> around town? Well, I did. I did say that because very, very rarely, when like Reese's parents <laughs> used to be away, yeah, we would go round because very occasionally when Reese's parents would be away, I hope they don't watch this because you get in trouble. We'd like go around there and fun as brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but no, it's certainly like. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not someone that thinks doing it all the time is like a very smart idea. Personally, if Just you do not, mate. Like, but if you do do it, then then do it. But I, I personally wouldn't, well, but, well, wouldn't ever want to be in that position where I'm doing it. When do say like, oh yeah, it's smoking loads of weed. Oh, it just makes me chill out, man. It, it you know, it's good, brother. It, it, it does. It <laughs> relaxes me. It makes me, you know, I have an issue, and then and then it, I have that, and I'm fine. What well, what I think it actually does over time is it makes you almost dependent on it to feel relaxed. Yeah. It's like. You, you know, almost without it, like you can't relax of a night time without having it. It's like the same people like my, my parents, like they have gl- a glass of wine or two before bed in order to feel relaxed. It's like, but that almost becomes a dependency. It's like, yeah, yeah. Is it enjoyment and how much, how much is it an enjoyment and how much is it a dependency? Like without this, I'm like, oh my God. It's more of a mask than actually addressing the actual issue. Yeah. Feel. Oh yeah. And, and I think like it's hard because obviously, like I say, doing it, but like on the very rare occasion, it's funny. And like, oh, it can oh, be funny. It always it is very funny. Yeah. Such yeah. a laugh. So then uh, it's probably easy in people's minds to be like, well, we'll just do it tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Yeah, because yeah, that yeah. night was so funny. Oh, mate. I got in, yeah, I've, I've definitely got into that cycle a little bit where it's like, oh, yeah, you end up doing it. Oh, it's just one little spliff. Oh, then one, 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 and then next thing you know. And that's why now, like, I'm really... Uh, I've almost had to hit that rock bottom moment of like, fuck, I don't want, I don't want to be going down this route of eat, eating triple cheeseburgers all the time, <laughs> having loads of splifters, doing all this, that, and the other. Now, me and my girlfriend got Apple watches. <laughs> we we track, no, you track we, your sleep. We compete against each other. No, we charge it over night time, but we're like competing against each other. We're like, you know, uh, both making meals, cooking from scratch. <laughs> no, no, not even that. We're like inventing our own dinners. Like she's a great cook. <laughs> I, I mean, she's amazing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh, anyways, prick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's got a bigger cut out of all of us, do you reckon? I've always seen that comment get sent in. I reckon it goes me, then maybe like Theo, then Luke. In the I smallest to largest. No, no, I have no. the biggest hair. Uh, well, you have the biggest hair. Oh, yeah. I... Speaking about hitting rock bottom. Oh, oh shit! Okay. All right, yeah. Yeah, we didn't hear your story. Oh yeah, what's your story, Sorry, Theo? No, I'm just really, I really like. You know when, when you know when I had like the epiphany, and obviously I cried on camera. Yeah, I've come a long way since then. Oh, well done. Yeah, like this would have, you know, this would have fucked me up. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've said no because you had a few sessions with Bruce personally. Didn't yeah, you? did he? He opened my eyes, and now I'm just uh, now I'm made of steel. You are nothing. Will but that's actually what I'm saying, me. mate. It's like not, in, not the literally, la- in the last obviously. six weeks, I've. Rolled my ankle, torn two groins, and broken my hand. <laughs> I'm like, right. Made of, sign. Maybe <laughs> made I should, of steel. Maybe though. I should t- retire from football. But um, I'm in the middle of triathlon training and I can't swim. Exactly. I can't do anything. I can't ride my bike. No, it's good. That I can't work. Like you have seen. Do you know what I mean? Like, upbeat, which is, it is good to see. I know. I, I, it's one of them where like, I've just said to myself like, look. I'm gonna throw that to the back of my head. And I'll, I will, we'll address it later yeah, but down what's, the line. What's the actual saying? Just. Be- Sort of pretend you're happy until you are happy. <laughs> Tell him what game's a game, oh, mate. The game is indeed the yeah, game. Fuck it, you and got, that's what stop you've done. Me. You've just gone. The game's a game, and that's the thing. Legit, it, I actually have. Yeah, because that is what it is. It's like it's so easy to get caught up in big things, like big uh, things that don't go to your idealistic plans. Like yeah. everyone has a plan of how they want things to go. If it doesn't go that way. It can it can really throw you off the rails. Whereas if you learn to be able to adapt, and no matter what, the game's the game. Let's play on then you'll find that you're really able to cope for almost anything and nothing will fucking break you. Legit is like, jokes aside, like that is actually what's happened. Like yeah. it was so easy for me to just wake up on that Saturday and be like, do fuck all and be sa- feel sorry for yourself. Yeah, really. naturally, yeah. But I was like, fuck this. I will, I'll, like, people force me to say, Theo, take dude two days off. I was like, no, I don't want to take on, two days off. <laughs> yeah. But I was back in the gym Monday. I was yeah. like, we're going we're gonna to fucking do this. Yeah. We're going to do this, lads. Inspirational. Yeah. It's been think, quite an inspirational episode. Oh, it's, you know, we're full of it. We're But realistically, like, yeah, we may be tossers. Well, some of us, not all of us. We're, well, mm-hmm. Would you say I'm a tosser? Mm-hmm. 
Really? What yeah. what defines a tosser though, brother? So the persona. What's the persona? Well, you think I'm putting on a persona no, now? No, no, no. no. But everyone has a persona. Everyone has a persona, don't they? Would you say my natural persona is tosser? Like, when Joe's not feeling miserable and depressed, <laughs> his, like, normal way, he's him being him, confident, no, you're is quite, just a tosser. You're, yeah, but you're also quite, like, giggly and, like... <laughs> a likeable one. No, yeah, but I swear I'm really punchable and hateable. Yeah, 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 but, but, yeah but when you're downstairs with your girlfriend, you're, <laughs> you're always, like, giggly and, like... <laughs> and you know, also, it's one of those things where... You know, you think all your boys are class, but then if you think we're if, class, if, right? if, if like yeah. an, if like another boy group were to, they all think you're bell ends. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's like from the outside in, it's very easy to think that uh, people are dickheads mm, on the surface. But like, easy, if you yeah. were part of them, then you would obviously think everyone's class. Well, you so probably true, get though, it yeah. as well because from the outside, surface value information. I like, think as humans, we take what information we've got and we make a judgment, right? So from the outside point of view, you may go, oh, second, especially very English mentality, British mentality is like, if someone's confident, fucking dickhead. Mm. If someone backs themselves, what a stuck up wanker or cocky. We always want to shoot people down to make ourselves feel better. Such a British thing. But at the end of the day, if they were in the group and hung out with us, or anyone that's given us, well, mostly me, hate, mm -hmm. like, they hung out with us for, like, a day, they'd be like, oh, Wait, I get it, this is quality, this is class. How many yeah. times have you seen, like, a bunch of lads on, like, a night out and you think, twat? Yeah. Well, they're probably quite nice. And they're probably, and they're, and they're probably there looking thinking at the same us thing thinking, thinking about us, yeah. twat. Yeah. Obviously, we're really is it, cool. Is it, do you think going to bring back a, a retro saying here. Is that a caveman times thing? Yeah, because I think, like, naturally, right, we, it's, you know, the survival of the fittest, anyone that's that's a threat, right, is you all instantly have sort of negative feelings. So almost like geezers that are similar to us, mm. well, it's like they're similar. So it's like almost that subconsciously that there may be some, like, competition there for, like, a similar place. Yeah, yeah. Or subconsciously, do you know what I mean? Whereas someone that's like a Star Wars nerdatron, well, that wouldn't relate to any any of us boys because we don't really watch Star Wars. Not nothing. Nah. Never, we literally never are more it. like sporty, sort of like lads, lads. Yeah, and triathlon lads. Cheek, yeah, like cheeky Nando's, that sort of lad. <laughs> so we wouldn't necessarily like be like, oh, wankers, wankers, because they don't. But if you like, you only try and shoot people down as well that you feel like are up here, because mm. someone that's already you feel like subconscious. And when I say below or above you, like. Uh, like subconsciously, okay. If someone everyone like, if has you, those thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone's already like below you, like take someone that's like in need of something. You know, a homeless person. You're not going to try and be like, oh, what a try and hate on them because you you almost feel sorry for them. So that's you can only feel sorry for someone that you feel is below you. Yeah, yeah. you bring and down you, people above and you. And yeah, you only will really chat shit and try and bring someone down if you feel they're above you. Yeah. Mate, and it's the same thing of like when people talk about like celebrities that have that are like uh, depressed or like complaining in the media yeah. about like how they're feeling and, and everyone's always like, oh yeah, well fuck them. Like how can they really be sad? Like look at the size of their house and their paycheck. And it's that thing, it's like, if someone is above you, you do always try and pull them back down. Yeah, that's why like footballers, oh, it's okay to give footballers loads of abuse and say this, that and the other because they're so rich. They've got an amazing lifestyle. They've got a, really the working class audience that they're playing in front of is like, Essentially, you're jealous of the position that they're in. Yeah. So that's why it's okay in their minds to ch say everything that they say. And footballers, oh, it's going to take That's why really. I think it'd be really interesting to get a footballer on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Mason yeah. Mount. If you Do you know see, what, yeah. oh, boys? Right, so this. Me, I, I uh, after champion, uh, Chelsea Champions League uh, semi-final triumphantness. Which you <laughs> called? Which you called? Huh? You which, called it? I, I, mean, I predicted that we'd keep a clean sheet and win 1-0, right? We won 2-0. So game is the game in that sense. Genius. But... I messaged Mason. No, no, I put on my story, uh, Mason Mount, heroic specimen. Uh, Mason Mount. Mm -hmm. And basically, he um, <laughs> he just re he just replied saying, like, hey, geezer, link up soon. And I was just like, oh, fucking quality. You liked my message so as well. So we should get Mason Mount on this podcast. Well, hey? we can we talk about before? Well, we almost got him on. Well, we I obviously remember I was talking to him last year. Yeah. And he wanted to come on, but obviously the podcast is quite a... How do you put it? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a PR disaster. Yeah, it's I, dodgy. That's the thing. This podcast, we talk about everything but and everything. we can be... We can talk about mature things. We yeah, of course. deep, open discussions. It's you just know? whether will, will people, like, you know, celebrities, footballers, performers, high up in, you know, A-listers, will they want to associate themselves with this podcast when they know the, what the other things that it's about? Even though we can do it completely I mean, it. amazing. I mean, yeah. fucking, I'm on Sky Sports Box Office, I'm on MasterCard, I'm on... Like, I but even this they, podcast, we've yeah. proven it with, with JJ. That was like, well, yeah, yeah. like completely like normal... 
<laughs> conversation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I just think, look, everyone tweet Mason Mount. Be nice to come on, come on, Waffling, or go on Instagram and let him know. Get on Waffling. We want to hear you, and it would be amazing. But speaking of other people that maybe we could get on the show, yeah. and we could push the boat out a little bit more, but yeah. also people that we do want to know about and we're interested in. I put out on Instagram yesterday, comment who you'd like to see on the podcast as yeah. a guest. Yes. If Has you to be right two person. were fans, which you are, but if you were just fans and not hosts of the show, yeah. who would you have commented? Russell Brand. You want Russell Brand? Big Russ. Well, I'd go with, the. I mean, realistic options, because, yeah, yeah. you know, not like The Rock and that lot. No, someone said The Rock. I mean, that would be quality. I mean, I'm imagine no, I chatting think, to him. I don't think it's too far out of question. Well, we'd have to, we'd need to, well we're, we're getting him in, getting him to my house. He wouldn't fit in the door. Oh, facts. Um, I think getting the likes of, I mean, Tyson Fury, maybe. You think that's possible? Well, yeah. Surely, he went on the true Geordie one. The thing is, is it's like, you know, Geordie's like a geezer, man's man like and me. all that. Whereas Imagine we're, him sitting next to me. We're like fruity and like, just take the piss. So but Tyson, hey. <laughs> so Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like something like that would be jokes. Or I don't know, Rice. you know, I don't really know him as an individual. I've never really spoken to him. Do you want though, me yeah. to talk you through, I think the... Yeah, the, give the, us the names. Yeah, who, the, what did the Waffle and Mafia say they want? I'm pretty sure I'm going to boil it down to the top five that I saw. Okay. Hit us, brother. Number one, the girlfriends. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I I Because I already spoke to Ruth about this and she was like, I'm not going to have to come on. And I was like... You're, you're not nah, I wasn't going to say that. I don't think any Who's any Ruth? of us want that. It would be. Well, no, it's just an invasion, really. I don't yeah. Know, yeah. No, I'm talking about, well, like, I talk very openly and freely, but it's in. We already embarrassed I don't know, enough. yeah. It's, there's an element of just like, you know, private life. Number two, Stannard. Stannard. Obviously, get Stannard on. Everyone tweets Stannard. Have they got his, e- his email, his twi- Twitter? His email. Or his Instagram or whatever. Instagram. Would yeah. Stannard come on? He probably would, but he'd need to be like five beers down. He'd need to probably quite a nerve wracking experience. Be, oh, yeah. Now here's the thing. Just going to interject because yeah. we were also we all, we were going to do a drunk episode for New Year, weren't we? Oh yeah, we need to get pissed up. We've still got five episodes, uh, 11, 12, yeah, something 30, like that. Five episodes left after this. One it's of those can time. be a drunk one. We'll Should release we get... it on a Saturday evening. We can get Stannard on. Why don't we get pissed up next week? Just next week's episode is pissed up. Wait, one. can we do the week after? Because I've got two exams next okay, week. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're in two weeks' time, we'll do the pissed up episode as just as that is the waffling episode for that week. Yes. Oh, and we'll, we'll release it on Saturday evening Why? so people can drink along with us. Wait, I played really? a really oh, okay. fun drinking game yesterday. Okay. It's called 21. Have you played it before? Oh, so you go one, two, three, four, five, and yeah. whoever lands on twenty-one has to drink. But then you add in extra rules, and it's like every two reverses, or every you can't say a word seven. You have to replace seven with woof. Like or if, so. if you land on twenty-two, you have to like you know you sort of like not you never sh- land on twenty-two. Oh my god! Huh? Anyways, right. Yeah, continue. Next, yeah, yeah. Continue the list. Number three. It was between cow and Deji. Now Deji would be. Uh, an well, that'd in, be jokes, man. I'd love interest. to have him in real life and see just like how he is. How do you think you'd clash? <laughs> no, or do you I think you'd think, settle? Oh, man, I think he'd be jo- well. As in, like uh, at the beginning, he'd be like guard up, ready for just like. Well, he, he will never do something like this. Like Deji, you're welcome to come on the show. I know you hate the show, but um, I yeah, think that I think it'd be really good. Uh, but like just a real life, like real life. Do you remember we like have- YouTube where we I don't know like all back and forward like having a conversation you saw like um, when me and JJ spoke for an hour it was actually quite like inspirational points well. it was refreshing it was lovely it was nice and I think that would be good but um, he's never been really about that stuff so I wouldn't expect it well because after after that KSI podcast I yeah. remember you saying like oi wouldn't it be sick if like waffling was the home of settling YouTube beef oh yeah where like people that were fighting each other maybe came on and. We sort of Jeremy Kyle the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that would be good. No, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. Um, do you, sorry, can I just throw out one another name out there? Go for it. I think Jeremy Lynch would be quite interesting. Yeah, he's someone that's had a tough time. He has had life. a tough time. Yeah, I mean, he's, that's the thing. Like, out of, he's always been about. He, he has to trust you. I think. And yeah. Like, as in, we've done. He's, he has trusted me in the past. Like, we did the box. He was like, when me and him did that boxing video, video, he was like, I wouldn't do this with just anyone. It needs to be someone right. Yeah. And it's like, I'll, I'll do it with you, Joe. And then there's a few other things. Obviously, Wembley Cup based. Yeah. I remember him saying to me, and I think maybe this could be it. But I don't know. I mean, he definitely probably have to approve certain questions and whatnot because I mean, he. 
I know like, we wouldn't go in to try and terrorise him. We'd go in We'd go in to have like a normal open discussion, Honest as we always do. Yeah. Just open and just whatever. Um, but yeah, that would be an option. So Jeremy Lynch, he, if you would want to come on the show, yeah. you are more than welcome. I feel to. like he, he's quite a closed book. Well, no, but, but that thing is, he's had to almost be that he way. Has because to be, he has to have a wall up, right? Well, it's probably because of, like, I almost think he just doesn't give any attention to the to the beef or the hate. Like, I think he, he sees that, like, yeah, whatever's in this is in this news, in the news this week. Um, it's like a big thing. Oh, everyone hate on Jeremy Lynch, for example. But in, like, now look at him. He's flying on Instagram, flying on Twitter, banging everything because yeah. let it all blow over and yeah. you just crack on. It's like, you know, it's like what Storms he's done. He could have replied to Chipmunk. With their whole diss track and and but he's just let that slide and now it just fades in, yeah. into the distance, like whatever seems so important today in a year's time, no one really cares about. So true. Yeah. Yeah. No, he handled it well, to be fair. And uh, like I'm, um, I can't, I don't even know the situation that well, but I do know from the videos I watch, it it didn't reflect greatly on him. So for him to just like sideline it and be like, right, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna address it. Because that is probably going to worsen his situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, think that, fair well, play. No, that's facts. Like, uh, I think if you give a time and attention to um, to beef, hate, whatever negativity, well, then it, it you, you're you're contributing to that energy almost. It's like if I w- didn't want people to s- comment, "Oh, well, are you looking fat?" I shouldn't address it every fucking episode. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's it's yeah. a prime example. Um, so yeah, but that's where he's 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 switched on in that sense. So fair play to him. Another name. Number five, I think I think this might have been influenced by me, though. Nico or Milana. He'd be jokes. I asked him back in the day, and he was like, not too sure about a podcast. I think he so would do it now. He did Happy the, Hour. The yeah, he thing. did Happy Hour back then, but I think I said, he gave the idea. I think, I don't know if he was comfortable in that situation. I think... He's probably grown to it. But hopefully. I mean, I think that would be sick. To get Nico on would be jokes. He's just, I would always say, what Nico are we getting? Are we getting the real Nico, or are we going to get a character? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Especially when he was running for mayor. That's the thing, that's the thing. Look, in the day, I reckon... The day she, like, even though... So the, so the, the happy-go-lucky, like, jokes, <sighs> bants character that he is on YouTube, I think probably somewhere there's some... There's some... There's some vulnerability. Has, in every human. And I think, like, that... The, this hilarious, funny character is great... But what if they're like, coming on a show like this? You know, it's not all just going to be happy and jokes. There, it's going to be like we're going to explore. Yeah, yeah, we're going to explore everything. And it's like, what if you know? The thing is, and, and seeing he used to comment on waffling back in the day before he really f- fully blew really? up. He'd comment on the, the the episodes when it was a bit of a therapy session about me, really almost relating to it and yeah. and giving almost his things. And I think uh, you know that that therapy session Weller. Has connects to him and has, it's, it's only connects to people that have sort of maybe gone through something or yeah, felt yeah, a certain yeah, 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 way, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. Like as in, I reckon it'd be wicked to come on and talk about everything or talk about whatever any anyone whoever it is is comfortable comfortable with, but with his his you know Nico's character being such a bants funny har- happy it whatever, it's like it could yeah it? go against his character. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To like yeah, but it's it's interesting because I he think might, he's we also talk about his character, but. I mean, it is him. Uh, it's safe. Yeah, it is yeah, him, yeah, that's you know the thing. I mean, we we him. have met him, and like, I'm mate. Even when the camera's not rolling, I swear down, he's trying to prank people. Yeah, yeah, he's jokes. So like, he, but also at the same time, it, it might not be the right time. Do you see what I mean? Like, oh well, because he's just done his London. Yeah, mayor but like thing. a lot of people, like for example, like Keith Lemon, like you know who, like he is at not his character. Yeah, like, yeah. No well, Lee really Fran- Lee and if, Francis, if, if, if you knew it? who he actually was, it made. Sort of takes something away who his character is. Yeah, yeah, but everyone knows Lee Francis is a real person. Yeah, but not many. Yeah, people no, no, no. Yeah, I, I do agree. I just think like it's it's difficult because I think as an entertainer to go to the like real next step. I say this for like Chunks, Philly, all of them, man, who are hilarious. Mm. It's like seeing the other side of you and people connecting with that can actually be what completes. You as yeah, yeah. as an entertainer and can actually elevate you when people don't just see you being perfect, happy, yeah. funny all the time. To see the other side, yeah. that can really be actually what 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 some people may feel. I don't want them to see that side of me because it's not perfect. It's, it's like I'm vulnerable, yeah. but actually, yeah, it can can be beneficial. So, yeah, well, any of them, man, I think oh, it'd be I wicked for, for them to come on. Uh, yeah, when man. you when you can them relate man. to your and them idol, yeah, on a human level yeah. rather than like a uh, this sort of. God-like, yeah, um, divine being. Like, yeah, it's, like, it's like when Thierry Henry would vlog for me, like I really related to him. He made me. I made he him, vlogged for you. Yeah, I made him see. 
Oh, I saw him as a human. Oh. Yeah, he, just took well, he just held the camera for he you. Just, he took the camera off me. He's like, go on, Beaky. Don't film me. Yeah, you know this, don't you? What the fuck? Thierry Henry was your cameraman? Yeah. How do you not know this? He went from me to Thierry Henry. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. And obviously I hit a crossbar while he was holding the camera. <sighs> Obviously. That is sick. Like, Go on, Beaky. I was like, Wait, can right. you slouch a bit? Because that's the camera angle. I did. I told you, lads, the camera is going to be too high. Oh, like, oh, no, so obviously, we we set up that camera because Theo is always slouching. And then we were like, oh, this is a bit tight on the headroom. Can you sit how you're normally going to sit? And he's I like, said, with my slouch. sling, I sit proper. I just have to constantly wear a sling. Yeah, fix my wear the sling, wear a schlong. <laughs> right then, uh, should we wrap it there, boys? Yes, boys. All right then, let us know what drinks for our um, drunk episode should we have? Like vodka and what games should we smash it in the old tango ice blast? Oh, That'll be quality. Mate. Although, do you know what? Because it's alcohol, it melts the ice instantly because alcohol doesn't freeze. It's true, interesting, but we but, could um, make it very cold. I had yeah, this... also continue to tweet uh, tango ice blast saying, Boys, get the fruity don involved. We want the waffle and fruity don out in stores in cinemas to buy in because cinemas, it is the yeah. best flavor. Ever. God damn right. Let them know. Anyways, we've been waffling. You've been you. And we will see you very much next time. Enjoy yourself. Hit the like rating. And bye. Toodle pip.